Hello ladies and welcome back to It's Time for Tea. My name is Princess Nay and this is my femininity journey that I decided to share with you. Before I get started, I would love to talk about my own brand called TheIndigoWoman.com where I have created a brand for feminine women to not only appear classy but softer. Okay ladies, so now let's get started. So I wanted to talk to you or to whomever that feel they deserve to live a very luxurious lifestyle um, full of happiness and on their own terms. I am here to tell you today that you can do this by not having any money because it do not take money to level up your life. It takes confidence, faith, and discipline. So number one, take care of your mental state first. We must, as feminine women, take care um, of our mental state, take time out, and focus on ourselves by removing toxicity from around us. This starts with our friends, family members, our father, or sometimes even our own mother. You see, many doors will open for you once you reach a certain level of happiness, but it's not something that can be done overnight. A lot of us have experienced toxicity from our own masculine mothers who have talked nasty to us, maybe even put our hands on us because they're battling their own demons. But it's your time to seek the help you need through counseling or healing circles that will break those barriers to reach a new, better you. With that kind of help, you'll remove unnecessary stress, learn to say no when things don't suit you. You must get the best out of each situation that will push you to the next level of happiness. This also helps with you setting standards for yourself and standing on them. Do not allow anyone to disrespect your standards and that also includes you. Overall, pay close attention to those who you allow to get close to you because everybody do not deserve access to you, let alone experience your new lifestyle as a feminine woman, a full of happiness and joy. You have to be the change that you want to see, ladies. Number two, take care of your skin. When taking care of your skin, it is best to invest in the best possible items to prevent acne, dark marks, uneven skin tone, rashes, or eczema. I highly recommend all things natural first, such as eating more fruits and vegetables that are raw, making homemade body scrubs such as coffee scrubs that keeps your skin soft, exfoliated, and prevents cellulite. I also recommend lip scrubs such as lemon and raw honey to get rid of dead skin on lips, hyperpigmentation, and overall just to make them soft. I also recommend turmeric facial masks that I use personally if I want to get rid of dark marks seven days or less, sea moss masks that are not only um, masks to get rid of collagen, I mean not get rid of, um, that brings collagen back into your face, but it also gets rid of acne, dark marks, or any type of rashes or anything on those levels. I also recommend wearing Indian clay masks to keep your skin clear as well. I use a facial roller as well to keep up with my youthfulness for many years to come. Facial steams are great, and I also recommend microneedling. Overall, taking care of your skin by using body butters, certain facial moisturizer, or even practicing yoga and meditation sound baths is perfect before or after you have taken a long hot bath or steamy shower. Number three, getting rid of toxic friendships. Unfortunately, before building up our feminine journey, we all engaged in some type of things that weren't seen as a norm for feminine women, and we were comfortable surrounding ourselves around them. Now that you want to level up, you have to have a better understanding that some things just do not suit you anymore. I find it's best to remove friends who are toxic, always filled with drama or life-threatening activities. We see the Instagram model girls who are living their lives, who also have um, also been kicked out of restaurants or being shot at with their gangster boyfriends. Ladies, do you really want to be hanging around girls like that or bring people like that to your dinner parties? No. It's okay to want to eat at better restaurants and hang out on the opposite side of the town, play tennis on the weekend or early in the morning, try new black-owned vegan restaurants, go horseback riding, take swimming lessons, attend an opera show, etc. Sometimes when we want a more peaceful lifestyle and do more peaceful activities, our low-value friends cannot come with us.
Number four, take better care of your teeth hygiene. I know this may not be talked about a lot, but it's nothing worse than seeing someone with rotten teeth, cavities, or white tongues, or unbrushed yellow teeth in general. I highly recommend that you invest in a perfect toothbrush for you and vegan toothpaste. You never want to be around friends or family with bad breath, let alone with a white tongue, where you could invest into a tongue scraper and brush your teeth with raw coconut oil to prevent yeast buildup, let alone allowing mucus to sit on your tongue overnight. I brush my tongue and teeth two to three times a day and floss, so I know you can do it, ladies. Number five, get rid of any and all jealous feelings you may have towards those who may be seen as to moving faster than you when it comes to the level up journey. I am more than aware that you want to level up and you want to live a really good life. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you have to understand, it just may not be your season yet. If it's not your season yet, when you flourish like a flower, you will be more than thankful for all the lessons that you have experienced and be able to help others. The universe listens and he knows when the heart is pure and when it's not. So be very careful when it comes to your feelings amongst others that you can also be just using as motivation. Number six, take online etiquette classes. I know taking online etiquette classes is better in person. But right now, it's best to learn all that you can online from how to set a table, which silverware to use for certain meals, which wine glasses to use for certain drinks, how to hold a wine glass, how you shouldn't use your dinner napkin as a bib, because that can be seen as very tacky and definitely not classy. No elbows on the dinner table, no handbag on the dinner table, not being overly loud, turning your phone ringer off so you don't disturb other guests, do not chew with your mouth open, know the importance of cutting your food up before you put it in your mouth, Never stuff your mouth with leafy or garlicky sauces, etc. And ladies, please allow the man to pay for the dinner. There's nothing wrong with offering, but if he allows you to pay with no hesitation, then take notes of his actions because he might just be a grown boy. Number seven, learn to educate yourself through books, seminars, blog posts, or motivation speeches. I enjoy reading books. Books based around femininity such as Secrets of a Southern Belle or economic-based books about how to invest money to build generational wealth. I will make a separate post on all books I recommend, but for now, it's best to do your own research to what suits you. I will also recommend, ladies, to build up your credit score. A lot of people today have bad credit scores and don't realize that having a good credit score will get you that apartment or house that you've always wanted, the luxury car you prefer, credit cards to your favorite retail stores, etc. You can start with secure credit cards and use small amounts that will build your credit and within months you'll see a dramatic change. We have to break bad habits such as using kid names to get things in life when it comes to our credit. I see this in all communities and that's how you that's not how you break generational curses. So working now to a better future is the way you should go. In addition, I highly recommend you making a dream board to keep you motivated and start journaling and writing down what to get done for the year. Writing down your goals hit different when you are scratching them off one by one during your feminine journey. I don't care if it's a car you want, you can have it. Or apartment you want, you can have it. The type of friends you want, you can have it. Let alone even a husband. You can have it. You just have to see it through. Remain faithful and have a lot of discipline. But okay, ladies, that is all for today. Um, Please follow me at Call Me Princess Nay on Instagram. Follow my femininity page at the goddess of femininity. Remain classy and beautiful.